Hi, today I'm going to read Splat the Cat, Oops a Daisy by Rob Scotton. It's a story in which Splat the Cat and his friend Seymour find a seed and they don't know what it is. It was almost springtime. The weather was getting warmer, but the sky was still gray and rainy. Splat thought being stuck inside was a waste of a Saturday afternoon. Splat perked up when a sopping wet Seymour scurried into his room. Seymour was carrying a weird looking seed. Where'd you get that? asked Splat. Seymour held up the seed and stared at it. Then he shrugged. I wonder what kind of seed it is, said Splat. It could be anything. Well, there's only one way to solve the mystery, Seymour. Let's see if we can make it grow. I think we need to plant it first, Splat said, but I've never planted anything before. Do you know how to plant a seed? Seymour shrugged again. Okay, then let's go to the library to find out, announced Splat. Splat and Seymour walked straight to the library to look for a book about gardening. The only problem that there was so much information. Splat wanted to grow one seed, not a whole field of corn. After staring at the shelves for a long time, Splat finally asked the librarian. She was happy to help him find the perfect book, A Cat's Guide to Plants and Potting by Jack Tabby. The book said the first step was getting a pot and filling it with soil. Not all of the soil landed in the pot. Splat! Next, Splat planted the seed in the dirt. He set the flower pot on a sunny windowsill. Then he watered the soil. Not all the water went into the pot. Splat checked the flower pot every day. He hoped and hoped for any sign of a sprout. He wondered what kind of a plant it would be. Maybe the seed would grow into a garden of wild roses. Or maybe the seed would grow into a tree as tall as the sky. Splat couldn't wait to see what grew. He sang to the seed, he read to it, and told it stories. For two weeks, Splat waited and waited for the seed to do something. Splat was ready to give up. Maybe the seed would never sprout. Feeling terribly disappointed, he watered it one last time, just in case. The dirt in the pot shifted a little when Splat added water. A triony green sprout sprang up. Splat cheered loudly, but quickly shut his mouth. He didn't want to scare the little plant back into the soil. During the next week, the sprout grew a few straggly leaves. Splat was thrilled when a few days later, a little bud appeared atop the stem. The next day, the bud opened and a bloom blossomed. It wasn't a wild jungle plant or a many colored rose or a tall, tall tree. It was a flower, a little daisy, and Splat knew just who to give it to. I love it, said Mom. It's the most special flower ever. Splat smiled as he hugged his mother. I grew it myself, Splat said, with a little help from Seymour. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you the Wonder of Seeds Activity Kit.
And in this kit, you will have your instructions. You will have which seed, which plant with 12 seeds. A bag. And your soil. You will need a pencil some water, but the water is for the second activity, and a small cup. First, you will need your which seed, which plant with your 12 seeds. Carefully jump the seeds onto your paper. Now you need to sort out your seeds on your worksheet. This one looks like a burnt mat matchstick. This one looks like a small stick. This one looks like a rock. This one looks like a dead leaf. And once you do that, now you need your pencil and you need to draw from which seed to plant you think it is. Some of them are easy. Now that you're done doing that, you need your small cup and put all your seeds in the cup. You can check your answers on the sealed folded sheet in your bag. Now moving on to activity two. For activity two, you will need your bag of soil, your bag, your water, and your seeds from the last activity. First, you need to open your bag and open your bag of soil. And I have a trick to show you so you get all the dirt in. Twist the bag of soil, put your bag in like this, and the other bag. Then grab it by the corner and bring it up to the top. and shake.
Make sure you get all your dirt. And no mess. Now, you may need to tap your bag a couple times. And open it and make holes. And you need to make some of the holes in the corner. So now you need to choose your seat. And now, put your seeds in, one in the middle, one a little more away from the middle, and the other one on the other side a little more away from the middle. Now, you water your plants. Half a cup of water. And zip your bag up and put it in a warm, sunny space. 